Hi, this is Andre. This video is going to be looking at several different methods for side chaining in Bitwig, starting with the simplest, easiest ones, and then moving up to making a device like this that has some, some kind of extra features. So the cool thing about this device is it has the flexibility of running either MIDI or audio sidechain by hitting this button. And then you can see the waveforms. You can see your bass running into here. I have the snares here, the kick there. And so you can make the envelope and see how the envelope, what, what its relation is to the drum. So yeah, I'll start first though by showing the basic ways you can sidechain in Bitwig. So the first one, first way I'll show you is um, MIDI sidechaining. So this would be the most basic way is just having a note receiver device from a MIDI track running into a four stage. And you know what I'll do? I'm going to make this from scratch in case you've never used Bitwig. Or if you're, you know, you're just starting out with, Bit with Bitwig and want to know how to do stuff like this. So if we get a note receiver device right here, we can route that from the MIDI. So I have um, the kick right here, and then I'll just get a tool. It doesn't need to be a tool, really any device that has a volume. And then I'll use the four stage. You could also use, I mean, you can use any one you want. I'm just going to assign that to the volume down. And you can see that's working. And one cool thing about this whole this whole setup is that every device will listen to the most recent note note receiver. So if I I can set up the same thing over here, listening from the snare. You can see you can see they're both working. So it'll always listen to the most recent one, and that'll also work for um, third party. Uh, third-party sidechain programs like Duck or Gatekeeper. And uh, yeah, if you're coming from Ableton, it's kind of cool having these devices because when I used to do this in Ableton, I would have to route sidechain sends all over the place and it was just more complicated. So this is kind of an, an easier workflow. And then um, if you want to sidechain from audio, I'll show you a cool little trick that you can still use envelopes. I generally prefer sidechaining from MIDI and one reason is that sometimes I like to uh, shift the send track a little bit before the audio so that it kind of ducks the, the bass out a little bit before the transient of the kick hits. Um, so anyway, this is the audio right here. I just put this um, replacer device right here. And the replacer device, you can just play with the threshold and the hold until you get a solid red line above your drum sound. And uh, you could actually just throw the replacer device right on it. I don't think it puts out any sound. I haven't noticed it to put out any sound, but just in case, I, I put it in a group and I just have it muted. But yeah, this is the actual kick audio that's playing. And so the cool thing about, about this is that we can still do MIDI side chaining now because it's putting out a MIDI note. So uh, if I go to my kick, so now this is receiving from that replacer device. And so for me, that's kind of cool because I, I think that um, you can kind of get cleaner side chaining with MIDI uh, because you can choose the envelope as, uh, you know, as opposed to it being reacting, being reactive to the audio. So this kind of gives you the option of doing MIDI side chaining without actually having to have a MIDI send because it's just receiving right from the kick. But I, in my opinion, it's better to do to do it right right from a, a send track like this. Um, for one, because there will be less latency at, uh, of the point that the MIDI node actually starts. And yeah. So, um, yeah, so now let me show you how to set up a device like, like the one I was just showing you. Um, 
here first i'll give you a rundown this is a simplified version of it or i'll, I'll just build it all right so if we get an effects grid So the first thing we would want to do is route in the audio and the MIDI. So in effects grid, if you go to the side, you can route MIDI from anywhere you want. So I'm going to, I'm going to route it from my sidechain sends, kick send right here. That's going to come to this MIDI module. And then I'll do an audio sidechain over here. That's going to receive from the kicks audio. So you can see that's the kick right there. And then in order to have a have the option of side chaining from the actual audio, what I'm going to do is create a little logic setup that says that if the kick is equal or greater to a value, so I'll grab a value knob, call this the threshold. Then I want it to create a gate. And right now you'll see it's creating a bunch of really fast gates because um, it, uh, it needs a gate length after it so that you don't get a bunch of really fast ratcheting gates. I would say usually around 100 is good, but it depends on how, how many kicks you have. You just don't want it to break up in the middle of the kick. You want it to catch each one. So you see it's catching like. Yeah, it's catching all these. So anyway, that, that'll work as the option for um, audio side chaining. And then I'm just going to put in a select over here. That'll give me the option of uh, running it from MIDI instead. All this source. So now you see this will be MIDI. This will be audio. Either way, we're getting a gate. So then you can just simply run that into an envelope. I'll use the new segments. And I'm going to run that into a separate oscilloscope. Anyway, so now you can see that's putting out an envelope. And if you want to see the actual, um, where, where did I put that? Oh, here it is. If you want to see the actual kick here, or I mean the bass here. So you, now you can see visually. You can see the what the envelope's going to do on top of it. So it's kind of cool having that, having that visual feedback. And then... All you have to do is just is just have it turn down the volume that have that envelope turn down the volume. So I'll just put an attenuator over here and have a modulator over here. And have this turn down this. And then if you want to um, reduce the amount of side chaining you could um, get an attenuator here and reduce the amount of side chain. And now, if you wanted to add a snare on top of it to this setup, you can do that also. So, um, yeah, let me show you how to do that. So, if we go into the side chain sends, I'm just going to add the notes from the snare onto here. And this is, if the MIDI had actually been recorded right out of drum rack, this is how it would be anyway. So, a 
Okay, so now, um, I'll get the pitch in, and I'm going to get a logic, and say that, so, so, so the snare is on C sharp 1, so I'm just going to say that if the pitch is greater than, um, C sharp one, then this will trigger a select. And that will switch, let me see, source, so this is the, uh, so that'll switch the gate from here to the other one, so. So this will switch it. To, to another gate. So then this can go now into, well first here, let's get an, an audio sidechain to get audio from the snare. And then uh, I'll run the same logic setup. And so now I'll get a select, put it over here. And I think the MIDI was going into, let me see, source is here. MIDI was going into the second one, yeah. Okay, so this will be here and then this will go here. This will be selected by the source. And now, you can see, here, let me move this up here. So you can see now I'm getting MIDI for, for the kick and the snare, and that'll work either way. So right now it's, it's receiving from audio. And now it's receiving from MIDI. They both work the same, and then you can just add a separate segments uh, for the snare. And yeah, that'll all be set up fine. So yeah, a setup like this, it's a little bit more complicated to set up, but it you know takes a few minutes, and then you have kind of a cool flexible side chainer that gives you some nice visual feedback. Of course, any one of these ways work fine. Um, and like I was mentioning before, if you do use third-party side chainers like Duck or Gatekeeper, the note receiver devices work well. Of course, you, you have audio receiver too if you want to do audio side chaining. Um, but yeah, I prefer MIDI side chaining. So yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.